There'll be a bunch of pictures on social media, you know the stories. I finally was brave enough to step on stage in my bathing suit, in my cellulite, and I, boop, boop, and I'll be crying and stuff, you know what I mean? Chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody, your home for gains and brains. This is very funny. People will comment, why are you shaking so much? And I'll say at the beginning of the video, I'm on my exercise bike. I guess they don't hear it. They're like, why are you shaking so much, bro? Is it the clen? It's like, no, I'm on an exercise bike, okay? That's why I'm also breathing heavily. I've been on here for almost an hour now because we are, well, two and a half weeks out, just under that really at this point. By the time this video comes out, it might be it might be the week of the show, really. We're gonna just talk briefly, guys, in this video. I'm just kind of riffing here, but this is a prediction. I thought about this like a year or two ago, but I don't think I formally mentioned it. Maybe I very vaguely did, but I wanna formally put on record what I think is going to happen in kind of the fitness space, kind of the next thing that's going to happen. So before we do that, <coughs> get the trap check. <coughs> serratus kind of coming in plus size body positivity you know that's kind of like the fitness segment of the whole like woke ideology today if you want to call it that whatever but something i've noticed is that fitness i mean there's a plenty of woke people in fitness now you know like sjw karen type annoying people whatever they've gotten into fitness but from what i can tell whether it's bodybuilding powerlifting it's still been pretty dedicated to actual results right now how people go about those results is a whole different story but fitness has still kind of been its own bastion of like hey this is one of the last areas where we still value you know hard work and personal effort and commitment responsibility all this stuff right and that's good cuz you know we need some pillars of the culture that still care about that. Here's what I think is gonna happen in the next few years. I'm filming this, uh, let's just say July 2022, because it's the end of June, and I'm gonna predict. I think in the next two to five years, we're going to see the first body acceptance building competition. And now that I think about it, calling it a competition is probably an oxymoron because it's not gonna be a competition. It's gonna basically be a glorified participation trophy seminar. So this is what I think is gonna happen. Cause you see now when youth sports, you know, everybody gets a trophy. You see it a lot in school now, they're basically, I've seen stories of some schools, they wanna like eliminate the grading system altogether. Not only are they just lowering the scores over and over, they're gonna get to the point where they're basically like nobody gets a grade. You just come here to learn and that's all it is, right? There's no like tangible measure of progress or success or anything. So you've probably seen pictures, right, of bodybuilding shows where there will be one guy who's totally out of place, like he's barely tanned, he has like no noticeable muscles, he just kind of joined the show to join the show, whatever. That's funny in its own right. But I think we're gonna get to the point where we're gonna start seeing up on like these stages. We're just gonna see people. And not only just normal people, I think there's gonna be a heavy emphasis on overweight and obese people, again, especially women, because they're the ones that make the most noise. There's not many dude health at every size plus size advocates from what I can tell, for lack of a better term, fat people. And again, that can be relative, not fitness industry standard fat, meaning no abs. I'm talking, you know, legitimate medically overweight and obese, but they'll just be standing there and they'll do their poses or whatever, and the crowd will just mindlessly be cheering them on or whatever, and then they'll all get a trophy. And then that'll be the entire show. And then they'll probably have, what, Planet Fitness style pizza and donuts after to celebrate or something. Which I guess bodybuilders do that as it is. But there was at least a strict dieting period before that. You know, you kind of earn it when you're bodybuilding, when you're shredding and cutting and all this stuff. Whereas most people just eat like that normally. And then they go to their work and it's like, oh, hey, we got more of it. Then they go to Planet Fitness, there's more of it. You know what I mean? Maybe Planet Fitness will be like the first big sponsor. You could see that, couldn't you? You go into Planet Fitness, they have like a big banner. The first body acceptance building competition is here this weekend. Some variation of that, I think we're going to absolutely see that. And you know the other thing too, right? A lot of these corporations will be jumping on that bandwagon too. Because eventually, bigger brands, you know, Nike, Adidas, whatever clothing company, maybe like makeup stores too. And then it'll basically just be like runway modeling in reverse. Does that make sense? Because we hear commonly about how all these skinny models who never eat anything, 
they're always modeling clothes, which that is true. There's definitely legitimate criticisms to be made there. And then bodybuilding is basically just like that version on steroids. It's just people who are excessively not eating, but they're muscular. And then now we're kind of getting into the whole fat acceptance side of things. And they're going to need an outlet. Because the whole fat acceptance movement does very well on social media. At least in terms of their core demographic. Instagram's the big one, right? There's always some plus size model or Lizzo will be on there crying. And I mentioned before in a previous video too, guys. I'll link it up in the corner. I think of the most recent Sports Illustrated model, I forget her name, Noemi or something. Guys were going off on her, oh, she's so unhealthy and obese, etc. She didn't even look that bad. She looks like a normal woman, if you ask me. Maybe a little bit on the heavier side, but nothing extreme. And I mentioned in that video, too, that it's very rich whenever these massive fitness people, especially all these guys who've been on tons of juice for years, they try to act like, oh, this is not healthy. It's like, dude, you don't care about health or no health that much either. Just because you eat more healthy foods, maybe, per se, you're still on a bunch of hormones, exogenous hormones, that have a source that you cannot track. They're coming from some random person, you know what I mean? That's a whole other issue. Still, though, that's what I see happening. Body acceptance building, and the judges are just going to give everybody A pluses and 10 out of 10s. Maybe they'll do a talent show with it or something. There'll be a bunch of pictures on social media. You know all the stories. I finally was brave enough to step on stage in my bathing suit and my cellulite. And I, blah, 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 and I'll be crying and stuff. You know what I mean? And yeah, it's going to happen. Like I said, I think two to five years, roughly, we're going to start seeing the first ones. And let's be honest, too. It'll probably become more popular than bodybuilding. Because aside from the very, very strict fitness niches of like social media, Instagram, YouTube, etc. The average population, the general pop, they don't care about fitness or bodybuilding at all. Right? They go to the gym, you know, the guys do their curls, the women might do their booty workouts, you know, eat a salad, get your smoothie, just very general stuff. But in terms of serious fitness niches, bodybuilding, powerlifting, strongman, etc., they're completely irrelevant in terms of mainstream exposure. Go in the street today. Can anybody name you a bodybuilder? Like, does anybody walking down the street casually really know who Chris Bumstead is? The kids in the gym do, for sure. But does any normal person, they know who Arnold is still. They might know Thor, because he was on a TV show. But, like, most people don't know anybody in fitness. That's going to be the other saving grace, or another incentive, I guess, for the body acceptance building, because you'll have Lizzo up on stage and, you know, celebrity women, you know, micro celebrities, etc. They're far more likely to be into something like that than to go to an actual bodybuilding show. Because this doesn't seem to stick in the minds of a lot of hardcore lifting bros and stuff, but, like, most people think pro bodybuilders look gross. They might say, oh, that's a lot of commitment and effort and that's cool, but most people think it's gross looking, which... Subjective. You really can't judge that. Yeah, I think I'm just talking at this point. I just want to have this on public record. You heard it here on the Revival Fitness channel first. Keep your eyes out for the first body acceptance building competition or show. Something of that ilk. I think we're going to see it in the next two to five years, maybe even sooner. And then whenever it happens, you guys can come back to this video and hand me W's. So this has been it, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you want to see next down below. Almost showtime. Stay tuned for that. Hit me up in the links down below as well for custom coaching, programs, consultations about your own training and diet. And I will catch you guys next time.